Power system is the set of centers of production, transmission, processing and consumption of electricity. This is power means of delivery of energy and infrastructure transformation and distribution and of course consumers. Power systems of developed countries are quite complex. On the one hand, various types of power plants, heat and power plants inside cities, power stations on the waterways, many other types of sources of electricity. On the other hand, many localities, each with thousands and thousands of consumers, as ordinary as well as giants such as, for example, aluminum smelters. All these objects must be linked. Moreover, the entire infrastructure must operate as a single organism, as it's impossible accumulation storage electricity. Why do I need to transmit electricity over long distances? The fact is that it is more convenient to build power plants closer to sources of fuel, and consumers are generally removed from them. Power systems are physically covered by countries and continents, so the important role played by direct connection between the point system. Power lines carry the transmission, distribution and conversion of electric power in accordance with the possibilities of sources and the requirements of consumers. The lines are ground, underground and underwater. According to the method of their installation, the length of their huge and this is mainly a problem that has no deal with losing. Initially the transferring DC, the cable length of several hundred meters of the power consumes fell. Energy is spent on heating of the cable, loss of power in the conductors depends on its resistance and to a large extent on the strength of current passing through it. Wire resistance can reduce increasing its cross-section, but it's very expensive and therefore should reduce the current. Since the power is calculated as the product of the current strength of the voltage, it's logical that a decrease in the current strength is ordered to reduce losses. You can save the original power only in proportion to increasing tension. At large distances by itself transmits more power, meaning to pass small existence. Therefore, to minimize the losses it is done at very high voltages. Generators power plants produced alternating current of low voltage. Therefore, for their delivery with the help of transformers at the output of the generator voltage increases, with the high voltage by delivery through the transmission lines. But the power consumption with high voltage is problematic for consumers. Therefore, the endpoints reduce the voltage to a level acceptable to specific users and distribute. Power lines are divided into different classes depending on their design, the device voltages as well as the destination. Classification by purpose sends a line transmission voltage 500 kV and bow in the class of ultra-long lines. They are designed to transmit energy over long distances for communication between the power system. Main with the voltage of 220 and 330 kV for inclusion in the grid of high power station as well as communication power in power systems. Lines that operate with a voltage from 35 to 150 kV relate to distribution. They are used for the tie of human settlements and businesses with electric power distribution centers. The lines with a voltage less than 20 kV are used to deliver electricity to end users. For each species there are limits, maximum transmitted power depends on such factors as loss of the crown, the heating conductor and the stability conditions. There is a connection between the power transmitted through power lines and transmission lines as well as voltage alternating currents. Under certain conditions we can roughly assume that the transmission line maximum power will be proportional to the square of the voltage. Delivery of electricity is carried out over thousands of kilometers. Efficient energy systems are a vital part of the functioning of any country.